Hello guys, so welcome back to our lecture 19. Uh, we're gonna start uh, in this recording about uh, another transistor, which is basically the sibling of the NB, NB transistor, which is basically BNB transistor. So uh, basically it's a transistor, it's also by junctions. There are two junctions, G1, G2, just like the NBN, but now they are flipped. So what was N become B, what was B become N? So it's basically uh, the, uh, the emitter is B, B type, the base is N type, you know, and basically the collector is B type. So it's P, N, B. But again, the base, I'm sorry, the, the emitter is still highly doped than the other ones, okay? And still the base is, you know, a thin layer between both. So basically it's the same operation. Okay, so let's explore the operation, for example, in the active region. So in the active region, again, we want G1 to be forward, the uh, junction between the base and the emitter. And we want, again, the junction between the collector and the base to be reverse. So G1 between base and emitter should be forward and on. G2, uh, G2 uh, between base and the collector should be off. For this reason, VEB, not VBE, because uh, E now is the base, is, I'm sorry, is the, is the B type. And uh, the base is the N type, okay? So VEB should be 0.7. And the VCB, the uh, voltage of the second junction J2, between the, ba uh, the base, which is in the type, and the collector, which is in the type, VCB, should be less than 0.4. Okay. It might be forward, but with a very small voltage so that it's, it still can be considered off. Again, to remind you, any junction, the voltage and the current of any junction is related with such exponential relation. So between 0.4, it can be considered of, or the current, you know, approximately zero. Here is G1, here is, here is G2, okay? And look at the, uh, the batteries, they are flipped as well. So VEB is in that way, so that the J1 should be forward and on, and the VEC between the collector and the emitter is in that way, it's also flipped, so that the junction between the base and the collector, you know, can be controlled to be off. Okay, how about the current? Again, since there is a, an on junction between the base and the emitter, there will be a flow of holes this time from the emitter to the base. And there is, you know, little electrons from the base to the emitter. Again, why is this? Because uh, uh, the doping in the emitter is very high and also its, its distance, its volume is, you know, larger than the base. So it's larger than in, the, in volume and also larger than or greater than in number of, uh, you know, uh, current carriers. In this, in this time, it's holes in the emitter and the electrons in the base. Remember the current is opposite to the uh, direction of the electrons and in the same direction of the holes. So there will be a current in that way due to the holes, IH. And another current in that way, IN or IE, whatever you call it. The look, IE is different, it's opposite to uh, the, the motion of the, of the direction of the electrons, okay? So then, since G2 is, is, uh, is reverse, we studied this in our first lecture in, in transistor. It's like we are injecting K 
carriers into a reverse bias junction. So they just flow toward, you know, the uh, negative terminal here, which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. And of course, the holes, you know, are, are, are attracted to this. And this is uh, the base current will just flow in that direction, as you see. And this collector current will flow in that direction, as you see. So this is IB, this is IC. And again, they will be, you know, joined again at the emitter. That's why again, IE equal to IC plus IB. But now it's, it's in opposite direction. So now IB going out of the base. IC is going out of the collector. And IE is going into the emitter. They are very opposite to the NBN. So they are positive with these directions. And here is, you know, the symbol for the BNB transistor. Since the emitter current is going into the collector, the letter arrow here, which discriminates, you know, the emitter from other terminals, uh, is going into. This is basically the emitter. So that would be the base. That would be the collector. And of course, in active region as well, you will find that IC is equal to beta IB. No doubt on, on that. And for saturation now, I think we can conclude or derive the same equations, but just look at you know, the flipping of the voltages. So in the saturation region, we will have something similar, exactly similar to the, you know, the NBN transistor. So basically J1 and J2, both will be common. VEB will be still, 0.7 and the VEC now will become 0.2. So it was VCE before. Now it's VEC, 0.2. It's still IE equal to IC plus IB, but now IC over IB is less than or equal to beta. That's basically the second region. The last region, are, uh, which is a cutoff, basically everything is zero. IE equal to IC equal to IB equal to zero. Why? Because both junctions are, are, are off. So G1 and G2 are off. Again, off means one of them might be, or, be, or even both might be forward, but with very small uh, voltage, less than 0.7, that's why they will not turn on to, uh, you know, on. They will have negligible currents, we can say. Okay. So it's basically the same as NBN, exactly the same, but we just flip the directions of either voltages or even the current. Everything is flipped here. Okay, let's take an example. Here is, you know, a small example. We have two resistors, RE and RC. And remember the, 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 the flipping of the transistor. So E here is drawn, you know, upward toward the, you know, the highest voltage in the, in the, in the, in the circuit. And the collector is toward the lowest or the minimum voltage in the circuit. And here is the base. And the beta is 100, find everything. This is a normal, you know, question. You give, you just given, you know, a circuit with every every information in it, and just to find everything, find every current, IC, IB, IE, VCE or VEC in that case, and the VEB as well. Again, we're gonna follow the same procedure. So we're gonna assume active. Why? Because there is a source that can give the uh, VEB this time because this is BNB transistor the 0.7. Where is that source? Just to draw the battery, the 10 volt battery. So that 
Z is Z in, Z in volt battery. Where is VEB? It is in that direction, opposite to the battery. So yes, there is a source and in that loop, that source can give the 0.7, so the, because it's basically greater than 0.7. This is VEB here. So we're gonna assume that VEB is 0.7 volt. This is IE. It's, it's a good practice here to put the current before anything because you might, you know, while uh, while going into the solution, you might uh, mess up with, you know, or confused with the NBN and, you know, assume an, uh, an opposite direction for the current. So it's important to start with the current, the current directions. So IE is going into, and remember you have here a clue because of this small arrow here in the symbol. IB is going out of the base. IC is going out to out of the collector. Okay, good. So let's you know do KVL here. So in that loop we have ten equal to point seven plus IE RE. Remember RE is known. So basically you can determine here IE. So IE equal to 4.65 milliamperes. Beta is 100, again, IC equal to uh, beta over beta plus one, which uh, IE, which is called alpha IE. Since the beta is 100, 100 over 100, 101 is basically approximately one, it's 0.99. So basically it's, it's equal, approximately equal to IE, 4.65. And you can determine IB if you want, you know, IB basically will be IC over 100, which is beta. So 0 0.0465 milliamperes or 46.5 microamperes, whatever you like. Now we should determine VB and V C, to compare them, to check that really J2, the, the junction between the collector and the base is reverse bias. This is very important. So how we can calculate VB, let's check. Here is the base. The base basically is connected to the ground, which is really nice. So VB is equal to zero. Now, uh, VC, here is VC. So this is, you know, the collector here. So uh, we can draw this like this, this, this battery. We can draw it like this. It's minus 10 here. So, and the current is flowing in that direction. So the voltage is in the, so this is ICRC. And this is the battery minus 10. So both are in the same direction. So VC is equal to minus 10 plus ICRC. IC is known, RC is one kilo ohm, so minus 10 plus uh, 4.65 milli multiplied by one kilo, kilo will cancel milli, so you have minus 10 minus four uh, plus 4.65, it is basically 5.35 volt. Good. Remember the base is N, So this is minus, I'm sorry, this is minus. Yeah. So minus because minus 10 and plus 4.65, this is minus. Remember the base is B type or N type, I'm sorry, N type. And it's connected to zero. And the collector is basically B type and it's connected to a negative voltage. So the voltage on the base, which is N, is greater than the voltage on the collector, which is B. So it's a reverse bias junction. Or you can say that VCB, VC minus VB equal to minus 5.3 minus zero, it's minus five. So this is less than zero. So it's a, so J2 is reverse basically. And the assumption is correct. Okay, guys, this is basically, you know, an example for an active region 
operating uh, BNB transistor. In the next lecture, we're gonna check, you know, uh, another another circuit. But this time, the, we're gonna see how the BNB will be analyzed in saturation region. It will be basically the same as NBN, but you know, just to train ourselves. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye bye.